Senate Bill 127 is what we, this is a, this is a bill that will make sure that we collect an existing tax that has been on the books for a long time. And it specifically relates to some of the new technology that we have uh, on, the, on the housing rental. We have uh, Airbnb and VRBO and some of these others. And the big tax, the, the platform for car rentals is primarily Turo. There's another called Get Around that is not as, not as big of operation as Turo, but Turo has greatly increased. And there's a number of Alaskans that, that rent their cars through Turo. And uh, what has happened with technology is we need to amend the statute so that Turo, which actually doesn't own cars, collects the taxes, the same, the existing excise tax on behalf of the people who rent through Turo so that those, those vehicle owners who rent through Turo are not liable for taxes uh, because they weren't collected. This has been an ongoing, ongoing topic that's gone on for a while. And Department of Revenue actually came to our office and asked us to introduce what is now Senate Bill 127. Uh, Senate Bill 127 makes some changes, changes to the subpoena provisions in terms of tax collections. Uh, but it also makes it so that Turo will be responsible, even though they don't own the vehicles, they'll be responsible collecting the tax from the people that rent the car on behalf of the vehicle owner. And then Turo will submit those those records to the that, was in, that income to the state, the tax revenue. Um, there have there have been a number of different pieces that have happened. There was a there was a lawsuit at one point against Turo, asking Turo to provide tax records. The, the Superior Court did not rule in favor of the Department of Revenue, and so what this will allow the Department of Revenue Revenue to get that information from Turo. Uh, the municipality of Anchorage actually introduced similar legislation in Anchorage to collect from the vehicle rental platforms, and that has been a po net positive for collecting existing rental tax for, uh, for the city of Anchorage, for the municipality of Anchorage. The Finance Committee substitute, which is what is before us today, makes, makes two significant changes. The, fir the first is that the traditional, uh, what we might call brick and mortar car rentals, such as Avis Enterprise, Hertz, they will continue to collect 10% for their rentals uh, but for Turo rentals, the rate will be 8%. And that 8% 8 per, 8 difference is actually a negotiated agreement with Turo and the local car rental companies. And Turo had been opposing this legislation until we reached this compromise. And so you'll see in your bill packet letters both from Turo, Avis, and Enterprise all supporting this version of the bill that has a different rate for Turo rentals than for traditional brick and mortar rentals. That's consistent with what you see in other states in the country in which the Turo tax rate is slightly less than the tax rate uh, for traditional brick and mortar car rental operations. Uh, that was a sub subject of considerable debate. What I can say is that when we can bring the industry together like this, it's a real positive step forward for Alaska. And, and I think that's a real positive step for this legislation. It is noteworthy to see because this is not dedicated revenue, but it's a, it's a distinct money where the revenue goes. Historically, the revenue that comes in from vehicle renter ta rental taxes has been getting uh, a portion partly to Department of Transportation for road construction and road improvement, improvements, and partly to the state parks for parks improvement. And so it really makes a lot of sense that where the money is going when it comes in is actually going to benefit the very people that are renting vehicles. So you're getting Vehicle renters are going to the parks, they're driving there on our highways, and so we, we can have confidence that where this revenue goes is the kind of place that I think all Alaskans can support. So for all those reasons, I would encourage a yes vote on this and happy to answer any questions that may come up during debate.